Hey everybody, Jason here with GDT Basics again on the video question line. Uh, today's topic is maximum material condition. And today's question from the student is why isn't maximum material condition always just the largest size the feature can be? So let's take a second to try and answer this question. What might that answer be? What's the best way we can picture the MMC state for a size dimension? And again, we're not talking about the MMC modifier per se, we're just talking about the MMC. So any feature of size, let's say we have a size dimension with a plus minus tolerance, that size dimension has an MMC state and an LMC state. So again, not talking about the modifier, but we're just talking about MMC. The answer is always donuts if you ask me. Uh, I love a good donut and it's a good easy way to picture MMC for internal and external features. So for external features like the outside of this donut or for the internal features like the inside of this donut, we have an easy way to remember what the MMC is. So let's say we have a drawing for this donut and the outside is five plus or minus an eighth inch and the inside is 1.5 plus or minus an eighth inch. What's the maximum material condition of both of these dimensions? So if we walk into the bakery that day, we're kind of hoping the quality department in that bakery is, is being generous, right? They're gonna give us the most amount of donut. If you're like me, you want more donut. Uh, let's go with the largest outside diameter. That's gonna give us more donut. And if we have a smaller inside diameter, that's gonna give us more donut as well. We're maximizing the amount of material, or in this case, the amount of delicious donut. So if we're gonna maximize, we're gonna to get to the maximum material condition. So for outside diameters like this exterior of the donut, we're gonna grow to get to our maximum material condition or more donut. And for internal features, we wanna shrink. So that means for the five plus or minus eighth inch, our MMC value is gonna be a large diameter. It's the largest diameter allowed by that size dimension and its tolerance. So we have a five plus or minus 1.25 our MMC is 5.125. And for the internal feature, now we're not getting a larger diameter, right? We want a smaller diameter. A smaller diameter means there's gonna be more donut, more material, we've maximized our donut. And so a smallest diameter for our size dimension of 1.5 plus or minus an eighth inch would be 1.375. So the MMC is the maximum material condition and it's a material condition for a size dimension where the most amount of material will exist while still remaining inside the tolerance limits. So you see, you see it's not always the largest size allowed. For external features, it's the largest size and internal features, it's the smallest size. Now, if you want to picture the LMC, it would just be the other side of that tolerance dimension. So here we see 0.4875 is our LMC for the outside diameter or the smallest diameter. And for the internal feature, the LMC is gonna be 1.625 or the largest diameter, thus reducing how much delicious donut we get. Hopefully this helps you clarify. I know it helps me remember the maximum material conditions for all of the features I'm looking at. Uh, it also makes me very hungry. So uh, hopefully this helps you out. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Our goal is to be your best source for gd &T information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand gd &T on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our gd &T community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our gd &T and print reading quizzes. Download helpful charts and access articles written by our training experts.